Hey everyone, it's Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary photo into something like this by using the selection tools and recoloring adjustment layers. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's open up our image in Affinity Photo, and then let's duplicate our background layer by pressing the Command J or Control J on a PC. Then we're going to toggle the original background layer's visibility off. Next, we're going to make a selection of our subject by using the Selection Brush tool. Then we're going to duplicate it by pressing the Command J or Control J on a PC, followed by pressing the Control D to deselect our subject. If you toggle the visibility of the background layer off, we now have a cutout of our subject. Okay, let's turn our background layer's visibility back on and head over to the adjustment palette and look for the HSL option. This HSL window will pop up and we're going to slide the saturation shift all the way to the left at negative 100%. We can close this window out and now when we zoom out by pressing the command 0 or control 0 on a PC, the only thing that's in color is our subject. Let's say if you want to change our subject's shirt color, Let's select the shirt, like before, using the Selection Brush tool. Then we're going to duplicate it by pressing the Command J or Control J on a PC. And then toggle the subject's visibility off. We're going to select the new layer and go back to the adjustment palette and select the HSL option again. And now we're going to change the color by using the Hue Shift slider. We can also adjust the saturation to make the color pop. Now let's change the color to a sky blue. Let's zoom back out again and go back to our layers palette. And toggle off the shirt and HSL adjustment layer. Let's say we want to change the colors of the trees. Instead of using the selection brush tool to strenuously select all of them, let's go up to the select menu, go to the color range, then select greens. And Affinity Photo will select all the greens in the image. Now let's go ahead and duplicate it by pressing the Command J or Control J in PC. Then we're going to drag the trees layer above the HSL layer because if we leave it under the HSL layer, it will desaturate anything below it. Now let's go ahead and toggle the visibility on for our trees layer. And then let's say we want to change the trees color from green to something like orange. Below our layers palette, let's click on the FX button and the layer effects window will pop up. We're going to check the color overlay box and change the color from black to orange. Then we're going to change the blending mode. You can experiment with all the different blending modes to find out what your preference is. But for this tutorial, we're going to go with the soft light blending mode. You may adjust the opacity as well to your liking, then click close. Since the tree layer is on a separate layer, you can erase unwanted areas to clean up the photo. And that concludes our tutorial on how to edit your photo with selected color.
I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions, what you think, or what kind of tutorials you look forward to seeing in my next videos. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to check out what other creative projects or tutorials I will be working on next. On that note, I'll see you next time.